Microsoft. All right, let's talk reference. Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I want to briefly talk about reference and I want to mention some cool resources on where you get quality videos as well as information to use while animating. First of all, I have to say, at least briefly, that reference is really important, always, but especially when you're starting out. As many of you probably already know, I rely heavily on reference, especially in the first stages of my work. I believe the reference gives you a guide to follow and an understanding of how things happen in the real world while you're studying. And of course, it gives your animation instant believability. But remember that reference isn't just for copy. It's more of like a stepping stone to start building from. And as an artist, then you can personally choose to ignore, push or exaggerate things to best deliver the point across with your animation. I would recommend that even if you can't find the reference you want, you still take the time to record yourself or at least just act out the action to understand it better yourself. What are the body parts doing? You know, what leads, what follows? It's easier to get that feeling this way. Now, where do you go to find videos if you can't record them yourself and if you think that you can find something more suiting online? So let's get into it. I want to start by mentioning that usually companies have libraries of content that you can look at, but that's not something anyone should worry about. Starting out, I thought that having an access to a good library will make me a better animator, but it all comes down to studying. I was desperate and I was screen recording <laughs> rented documentaries at the time, so I bought a subscription for Rhino House as a student, which will be the only paid resource I'm going to mention. This was a good resource when I was first learning about animal locomotion and doing my first tests. They also have a student price plan, but honestly, if you can save your money, that's the best. Nowadays, we're lucky because the internet makes everything more accessible than ever. So let's talk about free resources. The first most obvious place is here on YouTube. You can type whatever you want and try to search through the results. So you can go through endless amount of videos trying to find the perfect tiger reference. For example. But that's not ideal. You can create and save playlists from others. You can find one in my channel, for example, where I save various videos that I find interesting. Feel free to take a look. But even better, you can follow channels dedicated to uploading reference useful content regularly. Channels like Global Zoo, for example. Here you can find a big library of animal reference videos. And you can even make your search more specific by using the search function inside this channel to find exactly what you're looking for. Next up, I would like to mention a channel that specializes on horse references. Five minute horse lessons. And as the name obviously gives away, they have a lot of reference on horses. Uh, walks, trots, <laughs> runs, you can find everything. Next up, I want to mention Ultra Slow. This is a very good channel that has slow motion footage. And it's great, especially for beginners who want to study the movement. They have great footage of birds that you might want to take a look at. I use a lot of these references when I want to study bird flying, the bird liftoff and the bird landing, for example. Next up is a channel that I'm not even gonna dare to try to name or spell, but I will put the link in the description below. They have a good library of animal references here. And most of the videos are high quality as well. Make sure to check the definition here on YouTube. Here's another great channel that I'm not gonna try to name, but they have great references, especially for gorillas and chimpanzees. As I mentioned before, I used to try to record <laughs> documentaries, but nowadays all the companies making the documentaries, they have their own YouTube page. So BBC Earth is a channel you can follow. BBC Earth Unplugged is another one that I follow. And in the series of this kind of companies making their own YouTube videos, National Geographic, 
have a great YouTube channel with a very big library of animal references. And don't forget that with the YouTube search function within the channel, it's like we're going through their library and we're free to take whatever we want as inspiration. And next up, I'm going to mention Africa Geographic as well. I've only used reference from this channel once, but I think it's worth mentioning. Here is another channel I'm not going to try to name with a library of extreme actions. It's good to use reference when animating animals and creatures. It also makes sense to look for references for something extreme like fighting and parkour, etc. Because not all of us can be physically talented. I would never record myself doing these things, especially this accurately. Next up is a channel I used a few times when I worked in games earlier in my career, Wushu Kicks. Just looking through the thumbnails, you can see a potential idols and kicks. But of course, I'm gonna try and talk about other places where you can find reference because YouTube is kind of obvious today. Okay, so let's move on. I wanna talk about green screen animals. That is probably one page that I've used a lot for a few years, trying to study reference. They have a big, big library with many species that you can just search through. Once you find what you like, you can just open the page. I want to also share with you that because we'll never use that exact footage anywhere, we don't have to buy it. We can just use the previews and study the reference. There are many options to go through and check if it matches what you wanted. In most websites that are similar to this, you can just press play and once the video is cast or loaded and it's playing, you can right click and save as to save the preview of this video. But keep in mind that this is just for us, not to sell or redistribute. Usually the previews come with a watermark, but in most cases that's uh, not a big deal. On a side note, this is more information, not 100% reference related. Some cool information while animating and breaking down animal movement and gates can be found on this Wikipedia page called Gate. This information can be really useful, especially when you're analyzing the creature you're animating. So while you're gathering reference, you might want to take a look at this page and go through this text and yeah, see what you can learn. Another similar page is actually the veterinary anatomy page. The website starts with the anat for veterinary anatomy. This is a very interesting page. It's not exactly reference, but it's good to refer to before jumping into animation. Here you can read a lot about gates and patterns of movement. You can check the frames in the illustrations and study the diagrams on the left here. It's good to spend time and study all this stuff. I will show on the animation. I really wanted to share these two pages on gates because they really helped me. But before wasting too much time on this, I want to jump back to other resources for reference. So next up, I want to talk about some stock footage pages. They are a lot, and probably there's more than I'm going to name. One of these pages is Videvo. And again, you use the same process, finding the footage you like and saving the preview. Next up, it's Pexels, another similar website. Here we can just search for footage, as always. Try to find something we like and then save after we play the preview. In some pages like this, this would be free, for example. Let's move on. Next one is iStock Photo which is owned by Getty Images. We'll get to that later. Uh, iStock is one of the great ones. You will find a lot of high quality footage here. Yeah, just keep in mind, save the video. That's it, pretty simple. 
Remember, there is no limit because it's just a preview. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Let's save it. Next up is a page that I haven't really used that much, but I recently came upon this one. It's called VidEasy, or I don't know if I pronounced that right, but you can see it's spelled. Remember, there is a lot of these stock footage pages. So it's impossible to know them all, but the process is the same. Moving on, one of my favorites and one of the best ones is Get Images. There is a lot of quality footage here, and even the previews can usually be in HD mode, which is great for us. That's it with the um, stock footage pages recommendations. I hope this really helps on your search for quality reference videos. And as an animator, you have to always keep your eyes peeled for, you know, the great reference video. Sometimes videos come from anywhere, they become viral, like in this case of this uh, video made by a stop motion animator, I believe. A hundred ways to walk. That's a video you save instantly as an animator who studies character and motion and emotion. I think that these are my main sources of reference. And here are some other good ones that I believe that are still worth mentioning. You can find this one on Vimeo, this group named Aniref. It's a group with almost 5,000 members and almost 500 videos. Another one on Vimeo is Acting Reference. It's a group with almost a thousand members. And on the same subject, if you love great acting performances, you might want to check Carl Ken Worthy's Blogspot. Here you will find a cool collection of acting performances created by a great animator, along with his notes on the scenes, which is very educational. And there is many, many posts to go through. Oof, that's a lot. And before I forget, I just want to mention two more resources. Back at YouTube. Endless Reference is a great resource for beginners especially. And lastly, because I'm getting really tired, I want to mention this website called Bodies in Motion, which is an amazing website that you can study gesture, that you can study line of action. But most of all, they have a lot of Edward Moibert's photographs that are combined frame to frame and you can see the motion. You can study key frames basically. So you might want to check it out. It is good for drawing, 2D and 3D animation. I'm sure that I probably missed some good resources, but I just wanted to list some of the ones that I've used so far. That's it for now. Like and subscribe and leave a comment to let me know what you think of this video. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay creative, and keep animating.